Good morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com. So we're waiting on parts for amplifiers and I have more I have to pick up. Got a nice uh, LK800C over there and then a Heath kit over here. So, got some Harbach kits I need to fill. And I think I'm going to work on my multi-band amp a bit. So it is uh, 4.49 in the morning, I have to go drink more coffee, then get to work. But I want to do a quick video here. I've had a couple of people ask me, well actually more than a couple um, over the past year. Uh, they've asked me about these diodes for these two boards. Okay, so there was a gentleman named uh, Rich Measures, really cool guy, um, taught me some stuff over the years and he had cooked up this idea about using a diode in parallel with each electrolytic capacitor. Okay, so these caps, these are the screw-in cap. I use Chemic caps now. The other ones, the, these blow the ratings away on the other ones that um, used to come in the kits. Every single rating when it comes to the ESR, the ripple current, the life, you know, the hour rating. Um, so I bought over nine thousand dollars worth. Actually, cleaned out DigiKey and Mauser just so I'd have them, and so I'd get a really good deal. But if you buy them in onesies and twosies, or I should say groups of eight, they're expensive, very expensive. So you want to protect those capacitors. So we have a TL922 filter cap board kit and a SB220 filter cap board kit. Both amplifiers use a full wave doubler circuit the rectifier. So if you were ever to lose one of the strings, if one were to short, you'd end up pumping raw AC into the caps. Okay, so the purpose of these diodes are to protect each capacitor. So if that happened, they'll short and they will protect the electrolytic cap. So these are much cheaper than capacitors. So I always recommend and I believe Jeff we've, there's never been any recommendation ever to not use these. They don't take long to install. Use them. So kit comes with eight capacitors, each one eight capacitors, 800k resistors, eight diodes, three solder tabs, and um, it so oh yeah and 16 screws so that's about it so nice high quality boards you have to be careful there are a lot of generic boards out there they're not all one and the same these were all professionally designed they are of the highest quality and we only use the highest quality parts so no spared expense just a lot of seen a lot of craziness with other kits where the capacitor, the body of the cap, because remember there's aluminum under here under this plastic and it's right up against the high voltage solder point. You know, um, you know this one has the standoff so you don't have to worry about it, but like a snap in cap type, you know, the whole body's right up against the back of the board. I mean there are a lot of things the average person wouldn't notice, but I notice, you know, so do it once. Do it right. Do it once. Don't put your equipment at risk or safety. Just have to do it all over again. So, okay. So I'm gonna go drink my coffee and get to work. It is Monday. I can't wait till Friday already. So, again, use the diodes. That's what they're for. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Every three.